Are you thinking about trying to purchase some land with a house so you can give yourself a little bit more space? Let's talk about some land that may be available for you in the South Oklahoma City Metro. We're gonna concentrate on the South Oklahoma City Metro for different neighborhoods and areas that have homes with some land. When I say some land, I'm usually talking between half an acre all the way up to 10 acres. You can find homes that have more than that, but usually, of course, those aren't gonna be in neighborhoods. I'm Mercy Billen and I'm a real estate agent here in the South Oklahoma City Metro. I specifically live in Norman, so I work all over the Metro. So the first area that I wanna cover is South Norman and Goldsby area. So South Norman, particularly the area going west on Highway 9, until about 20 years ago, didn't really have many residential properties or it had um, properties that were residential, but also were like attached to small farms or bigger farms. So now we have several neighbors in this area with, you know, half an acre all the way up to 10 acres in some instances. Although in this area, we're really going to find those smaller half acre to one acre lots. Different neighborhoods in this area include Crystal Lakes, Remington Ridge. Um, we're gonna have the estates at South Wind Hills, which is down in Goldsby, and then other places like um, Blue Ridge. We also have Land Run in this area as well, which is a pretty new neighborhood, and they just finished building all the houses there. You're gonna find houses with more acreage than of course like the one acre or half acre in this area and a lot of them aren't going to be um, attached to any neighborhoods at all. So that's just like a very unique um, proposition for all of these areas that I'm talking about. You're always gonna find um, homes with more acreage. They just might be fewer and farther between. So of course, once we get out of any sort of, sort of metro area, you're gonna lose um, like the abundance of restaurants and shopping and all of that stuff. Although in all these areas that I'm talking about, like your grocery store is uh, really close by typically. And by close by in Oklahoma, we mean like 15 to 20-ish minutes. It just depends on where you're gonna be. And if you're looking for a big box store versus like a local grocery store or even a farmer's market in some instances. So different amenities in the South Norman area are gonna be Riverwind Casino, the big casino. They have a great um, little restaurant inside. And then you'll also have Libby's Cafe down in Goldsby, which is a really popular spot. And then there's actually lots of fast food along this section of Highway 9 as well. Most of these homes in this area are gonna have a Norman address, a Newcastle address, or a Washington address. Washington's a lot further south. So you're either gonna be a Norman school district, Newcastle, or Washington as well. Goldsby, um, I don't see, that some, some places have that address, but not many, and they don't have a school. Another area that we're seeing a lot of development for homes with acreage is in East Norman slash Noble. So this is on like East Highway 9, all the way up to the lake, as you can see here. Um, kind of between what, you know, Norman proper and the lake itself. So in some parts of this map area, we actually have homes that are on 10 acre lots because they have to be because of how it's zoned for the city of Norman. But it all depends on how that particular area is zoned. We're seeing a lot of buildup too of different neighborhoods in this area. So you're gonna be in Norman or Noble schools in any part of this typically. Maybe more sometimes, but it just depends on how far North Hugo and then Little Axe is also an option. A lot of the homes in any of these areas really are gonna have a private well and a private septic, but it totally depends on the spot itself. And some of them won't have natural gas hookups either, so you may have a propane tank or you may have an all electric house, just depending on the situation. Different neighborhoods in this area are like Wellington Lakes, Blue Ridge Acres, um, we're gonna have Vista Springs and an older neighborhood like Flaming Oak Estates. So we have some older neighborhoods and some brand new neighborhoods, just depends. One question that I get a lot about these homes with acreage is what is the internet like? Well, in this area, you're going to have OEC fiber optic internet. So it's hardwired into your house and goes right along with your electric bill. Typically, if you have OEC electric, if you have OG&E, then of course it's gonna be two separate bills. Of course, in this part of Norman, Noble, whatever you wanna call it, we also have um, Lake Thunderbird. So while there's not very many homes actually on the lake, you will find homes um, that are close to a dock or within driving distance. It really does not feel like a city out here. Like it says Norman and Norman's a big city of 125,000 plus people, 
but this really feels like the country. You will have quite the drive into Norman if you're living out in this area or into Noble, depending on which part of the highway you live on. Uh, but major attractions kind of in this area are the casino that's out by the lake, Thunderbird Casino, and then Whispering Pines Inn, which also has a great restaurant. So this next area that I wanted to cover is separated from East Norman because um, it's usually Oklahoma City and then it has like different schools and the driving time to specific things is very different. In this area here that you see on the map, this is usually gonna be like Little Axe School District or more or Choctaw in some areas. So sometimes like people have to drive their kids a long way to school, right? So the reason I separate this is like a lot of this is actually considered Oklahoma City. So if we look at this Oklahoma City map, we can see how weird the city is and how it's just like gobbled up sections that you know, aren't city, they're, they're just not. They're actually country, but um, Oklahoma City just gobbled them up probably for tax reasons and then also because some of these towns got unincorporated. So Nuala, which is in this part um, of the map that we're talking about here, is actually a city that was unincorporated. We're seeing a lot of growth in this area and a lot of um, different neighborhoods and things going up. So it's a good opportunity. So all of these homes in this spot are south of 240. 240 for us is a very natural barrier between like south side and north side. We'll find a lot of residents in this area who actually work at Tinker Air Force Base. It's a really close drive. Tinker Air Force Base is of course the largest single site employer in Oklahoma. So we'll find like active duty and civilians working on this uh, air depot base. Not a ton of amenities out here, but easy-ish driving distance to Oklahoma City, Midwest City, Norman Moore, whatever you may need. Something specific to mention is the Museum of Osteology, which is pretty random, but it's out here um, on the south side of Oklahoma City, southeast. And then another popular restaurant, a place to hang out is Royal Bavaria. It's a German restaurant and beer hall. I do have relocation guides for some of these different areas that we're talking about, and you can find those in the description below. Those are free for you to download. Okay, I'm gonna stray a little bit from my south side talk, meaning south of 240, and I'm gonna head a little bit north of 240, right where we were talking about Tinker Air Force Base, okay? So this area that we're gonna talk about, it has Midwest City, Choctaw, and Hera, and then like Nakoma Park is part of this. Um, kind of really weird lines once again. And honestly, like if you work at Tinker or Boeing, Boeing is very close to this area as well. Like you don't have to live in this area. I know people who live in Edmond that work at Tinker. I know people who live in Noble and Norman who work at Tinker or Boeing. So just know that this is just where people uh, tend to live because if they want a 20 minute drive to work, it's kind of where you have to live to, um, to be close to Tinker or to Boeing. So neighborhoods in this area to choose from are seemingly endless. Most of these homes are gonna be 21st century builds, so fairly new, but you're still gonna find older homes as well. Um, that are on that acreage. And the amenities in this part of Oklahoma City Metro, the east side, are pretty endless um, because these towns are really booming. So of course with like Midwest City, we find a lot of things there because it's um, it's a very old town and you know they just had a, a lot of development already. So it was easy to kind of grow that. But then Choctaw is really booming as well. And every time I drive through Hera, there's something new. So all of these towns have really uh, just kind of exceeded expectations, if you will, for, for what we thought was going to happen. So schools in this area are typically Hera, Choctaw, Nakoma Park, Midwest City. I find some go to McLeod, which is a little bit further out and I didn't cover specifically in this video. All of these areas are really booming. So the next, this, this next part I wanna cover is south, the Southwest side. So it's Mustang, Tuttle, Newcastle, and really Blanchard could be thrown in there as well. But um, I have covered Blanchard in a couple of other videos, so I wanted to kind of leave that for those and cover things that are closer to the Oklahoma City Metro where you can find a house with land. So Mustang, Tuttle, and Newcastle are all smaller cities like the ones we were talking about, Choctaw, Hera, Midwest City kind of doesn't fall into that, but Choctaw and Hera are similar to some place like Tuttle, Newcastle, and Mustang. So the employers for this area, um, typically we're talking about Hobby Lobby, which is on that Southwest side in Oklahoma City. Um, a lot of people who work there also live in Yukon. And then um, the FAA slash the International Airport, which is right there on the Southwest side as well. 
So you're definitely gonna find home sites between an acre and 10 acres in this area, usually between one and five. And most of what I've seen on the new builds is definitely one acre. Um, shop buildings are always a question that I get. And yes, we have a ton of shop buildings in all these neighborhoods. Our HOAs are not uh, particularly strict unless it's a gated community. And I find very few gated communities, especially on the South side. Another question I get a lot are the tornado shelters for homes like this. And I find a lot of people put in um, kind of like these concrete rooms on the outside of their houses or underground kind of concrete bunkers for the tornadoes on the outside of their homes as well. You can also build a tornado shelter into your foundation and that's something that a builder might offer. Um, in my opinion, you're gonna find a lot more amenities on the Southwest side. And one of the things that my friends have said that they really like about living on the Southwest side is how easy it is to get to Midtown and downtown Oklahoma City. These homes move very fast. So if you have questions, you can give me a call or definitely watch this video next.